here on my deck project and as a result I did a lot of heavy breathing and panting so I'm going to edit most of that out and uh, dub in a little music but since I talk a lot I can't edit all that out so you'll hear some of my heavier breathing not all these projects I do are glamorous or or all that interesting this one will hopefully get more interested as the project goes along Thanks for tuning in in any event. Uh, tinkering around here a little bit today. Did some measuring and planning and calculating on my deck. I got a couple little things I'm going to do here today. I got out here and measured calculating on my deck. I got to figure out how much material I need. It's going to cost considerably more than I had planned on it. It's going to be a 10 by 12 deck on that end. You look at this doorway area that has a cement foundation underneath it. That's about 5 foot 6 inches wide. So there's going to be a deck at that height. At the height to the top of the concrete. So it'll have to be stepped down coming out of the back door. There's going to be a deck 5 foot 6 inches wide in the middle. Then it's going to drop down a step, or two steps. There's going to be a 10 foot by 12 foot deck here, and a 10 foot by 12 foot deck down there. Got this neat little tool I picked up here at Harbor Freight yesterday. Now when I install, you can see my siding is rotted back there. I'm hoping the damage won't be involved too much into the house but I've got to get those two bottom rows of siding took off and re-insulated or whatever I run into behind there that needs to be cleaned out if there's any rotted wood in there but my ledger board was overlapping the siding and you can see where I took and drove nails into the house right here basically just to hold it up level I suspect so I could put my bolts on well I gotta get that booger bear off there when you got nails that are nailed in flush like that how do you get them out you can't get them out you can't pry on the house without tearing it up well, we're going to utilize this thing right here and just drive it up behind the head of the nail See if I can get it oh, pull. See, I started it pull, coming out right there. So we got that nail started where I can get a hold of it. So let's pull that nail out. That ant's coming out of there, and this carpenter ant's in the house. Let's put some ants for you in there. They were all up in that rotted wood. I guess I can put these nails in my pocket. Okay, I got a chorus of ants coming out of there. We'll treat them with a little bit of reed.
All right, I hope I got them all started.
All right, viewers, I didn't film because the wife was out here helping me. But I pulled all of them nails and unbolted that ledger board and took it off. Found the boot coodle with a rotted siding under here. I'm hoping the rot ain't too bad in the house. I'll re-insulate what I need to in there. But it was a point where something had to be done. There was leaves and everything down behind there. So this two rows of siding had to be replaced. All right, that board behind there doesn't look rotted. That's a good sign. A little bit rotted right there. I had a board behind there to keep the bottom tilted out. And it, it ain't too bad, so I'm gonna assume it won't be too bad inside the house when I get to there where the sheathing is. But anyway, I got a little bit done out here today. Ta-da! Okay, viewers, through the magic of time, you can see I've got a little done. The ledger boards are took down. The rest of that first deck is gone. I'm down to the point where I need to eliminate this deck. I've dug up the last of my posts here yesterday. I'll total, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've, I'll total, I've dug up 10 four by fours mounted in concrete. Everything has been a slow go. This whole project I've been working on has been slow going. Um, but not all projects are speedy as can be. In fact, it's a little bit like life. I got thunder roaring in the distance and I want to try to get my, my log picked up, my post picked up and go empty my truck before the storm gets here. It's getting close. So let's get busy and do that. Where's my sledgehammer? That one's gonna be harder to tear down. Can we do it in one whack? Hell no. Well, I would have been wrong on that bit. I got it off in one whack. That was unusual.
when you get older as I have done things slow down but you still try to get things done at what little bit you can but you begin to look back on life and so many things that you could have done you wish you had done or you wish you'd have done different And I think that's one reason, among many, that makes platforms like YouTube so successful. Now, a lot of things I know I could have done and didn't do, I wish I had done or whatever. I'll give you a couple examples. No longer able to hike or do physical things would be nice to, to go watch walk the Appalachian Trail for a few miles. I couldn't make it two miles, let alone 2,000 miles. But I can do it on YouTube. I watched the guy's video last night walking the Appalachian Trail from one end to the other. And I get a little bit of satisfaction of seeing what it was like, even though I never got to do it. There's lots of things you can watch on YouTube that help you It'll be far more interesting than sitting and watching some stupid crazy ass TV show. I don't watch any regular TV at all. I do a lot of streaming YouTube. But this project here is a little bit like life. You just Things move along slowly. Um, the lower boards have rotted out on me on the siding. But I still got that siding, it's not foam, it's some kind of um, fiber board type insulation. So this house is sitting on two by 10 rafters, joys. You figure there's a quarter and inch and a half pressure treated two by six for two by eight for a seal plate all the way around. Sitting on top of that is the subfloor and the floor. Well, no, sitting on top of that is your 10 inch floor joist, which would come up to about here. On top of there is the subfloor and the floor. So the floor is just about where this rafter is here. And I'm fortunate that those rafters are back there to probably kept a lot of moisture from getting inside the house. I might run into a certain amount of rot in there. I'm hoping I don't. But I think it's gonna look all right for the rest of my lifetime as soon as I get, get all that ripped off and replaced. Let's go get this truck unloaded. That storm ain't getting no farther away. Ta-da! Okay, viewers, through the magic of time, you can see I've got a little done. The ledger boards are took down. The rest of that first deck is gone. I'm down to the point where I need to eliminate this deck. I've dug up the last of my posts here yesterday. I'll total, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All total, I've dug up 10 4x4s mounted in concrete. Everything's been a slow go. This whole project I've been working on has been slow going. Um, but not all projects are speedy as can be. In fact, it's a little bit like life. I got thunder roaring in the distance and I want to try to get my, my log picked up my post picked up and go empty my truck before the storm gets here. It's getting close. So let's get busy and do that. Where's my sledgehammer?
one's gonna be harder to tear down. Can we do it in one whack? Hell no. Well, I would have been wrong on that bit. I got it off in one whack. That was unusual. When you get older, as I have done, things slow down, but you still try to get things done at what little bit you can. But you begin to look back on life, and so many things that you could have done, you wish you had done, or you wish you'd have done different. And I think that's one reason among many, it makes platforms like YouTube so successful. Now, a lot of things I know I could have done and didn't do, I wish I'd have done or whatever. I'll give you a couple examples. No longer able to hike or do physical things. Would be nice to to go watch walk the Appalachian Trail for a few miles. I couldn't make it two miles, let alone 2,000 miles. But I can do it on YouTube. I watched the guy's video last night walking the Appalachian Trail from one end to the other. And I get a little bit of satisfaction of seeing what it was like, even though I never got to do it. There's lots of things you can watch on YouTube that help you would be far more interesting than sitting and watching some stupid crazy ass TV show I don't watch any regular TV at all I do a lot of streaming YouTube but this project here is a little bit like life you just things move along slowly The lower boards have rotted out on me on the siding. But I still got that siding, it's not foam, it's some kind of um, fiber board type insulation. So this house is sitting on two by 10 rafters. Joys, you figure there's a quarter in, inch and a half pressure treated Two by six for two by eight for a seal plate all the way around. Sitting on top of that is the subfloor and the floor. Well, no, sitting on top of that is your 10 inch floor joist, which would come up to about here. On top of there is the subfloor and the floor. So the floor is just about where this rafter is here. And I'm fortunate that those rafters are back there. To, I probably kept a lot of moisture from getting inside the house. I might run into a certain amount of rot in there. I'm hoping I don't. But I think it's going to look all right for the rest of my lifetime as soon as I get get all that ripped off and replaced. Let's go get this truck unloaded. That storm ain't getting no farther away.
smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Puff, puff, puff. Till you puff yourself to death. I did that for nearly 50 years. It took a heart condition to get me to stop smoking. But I thoroughly enjoyed every one of them. I'm not one of those reformed smokers that's going to go around trying to preach you a sermon if you smoke. You're your own person, do what you want. But like the people always tell me, you really should quit. I get around somebody smoking a cigarette nowadays, I can tell it. I can smell the smoke just like people used to tell me, you, you, you stink. Well, you can smell, smell the smoke on them, and it leaves a, a smell on you for sure. They can be in the doctor's office and somebody come in and sit down. I can tell if they smoked a cigarette just before they came in. But I thoroughly love the smell of a cigarette smoking. The cigarette smoke itself. It doesn't smell bad to me at all. Gonna have a dumpster full of stuff out here to haul away one of these days. Wanna get my project done, but it's gonna have to be at my speed. Just for rebuilding that deck. I'll get it done, come hook or crook one of these days. I come out each day and do a little work. This summer heat hasn't helped a bit. I get quite a bit done every day and uh, slowly making progress. Tired of that limb poking me in the ear.
This is my third or fourth truckload of lumber I've hauled away from up there. A lot of you may ask why I'm throwing it out here. Simple, I got no place to take it. I'm gonna need a big truck to haul this to the dump. You gotta pay to dump over there now. I'll put it here until I can afford to get a dumpster brought out here and load everything away one time and I'll just pay one time, not every time I drive over there with a damn load. The way that thunder is rolling, it's getting close. Nothing exciting in today's vlog, except Walter working his butt off. <laughs> 